Today's Bible study is titled Complete in Christ, Beware Deceit, Part 1. Colossians 2 verses 4 to 10 speaks to the simplicity of the completeness of the gospel believer. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 4 death, burial resurrection of Christ, according to the scripture. But it also addresses life thereafter as well, with a warning that the believer be not deceived and thereby cheated. In this mini-study of these verses, we'll take a closer look, beginning today with verses 4 and 5. And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order, and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. Colossians 2 verses 4 to 5. Let's dig into this. In verse 5, Paul seemed confident and even rejoiced in the good order and the steadfastness of the faith of the Colossian believers. In other words, he had obviously taught them the truth as regards the revelation of Jesus Christ according to the mystery, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men. Ephesians 3 verse 5. Yet still in Colossians 2 verse 4, Paul speaks to something that believers don't seem to account for today namely that any man should beguile you with enticing words. Since Paul's instruction is aimed at preventing deception by the enticing words of deceivers, we must assume that this deception can actually happen. But why would anyone want to deceive a gospel believer? And perhaps a better question is whether these deceivers would be doing so intentionally or just because they knew no better example, teaching by tradition. This is the state of Christianity today. It is the why of there being so many religious denominations who teach so many different things, supposedly from the same scripture as truth. Typically, there is no sinister backdrop to this deception. Rather, folks are just teaching as they've been taught, according to tradition. And most often, the believers are deceived because they have no depth of understanding of the scripture, rightly divided. This, of course, is due to them not having any commitment to studying the scriptures for themselves, such that by knowledge of same this deception could be avoided. Thus, the charge from Paul in 2 Timothy 2 verse 15, that the believer should study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. This is the only means by which a believer can be established, and deception avoided, whether intentional or no. Believer study, thank you for listening to today's Bible study.